hey y'all welcome back to my channel so in today's video i wanted to actually go over all of the polls that i post in my community section and we're gonna see which was the most popular answer and which one i would personally select be sure to like the video go ahead and like it because you know it's gonna be good and also if you are not subscribed to the pristine posse go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you press the little alarm button so that you are notified whenever I post new videos. And you'll be able to see all of the polls that I post on my community section. All of the information that's gonna be on my community section is only available to those who are subscribed. So be sure to subscribe so that you can join in on the fun and interact on the polls. Now, some of these questions on my polls are just random questions that I just think of and I'm like, okay, what would the pristine posse do other questions are actually real life scenarios and some are just what would you do as a flight attendant it's best to just have the answer in your mind so that you're prepared when the scenario comes because some of these things do happen so let's go ahead and get started so if you see me looking down i am on the phone reading the polls and i'm just going to skim through find some good ones and we're gonna read them off like that okay first one the flight attendant is walking by doing service and you are asleep what do you want the flight attendant to do you guys said let me sleep in peace I agree I'm gonna let y'all sleep in peace now 85% said sleep in peace 15% said wake me up to be served I will never okay there's only one time when I wake someone up, but 99% of the time I will not wake anyone up because I wouldn't want anyone to wake me up out of my sleep, number one. Number two, I don't know how you're going to react, okay? Would you wake up a grizzly bear? No, all right? I don't know if someone's going to have an attitude like, why did you wake me up? I was sleeping so well, X, Y, and Z. I don't, I don't want to deal with the attitude so i'm not waking up anyone now the only time that i will wake someone up is if they're in first class and they ask me for coffee because i don't know why but this happens way too often i will ask someone in first class hey what would you like to drink they say coffee from the time that i finish talking to them and i take everyone else's order and i brew the coffee and i bring it to them they're asleep ma'am sir why did you fall asleep that's the only time i'll wake them up because obviously they want something to wake them up so i feel that i should do my due diligence and you know pat them on the shoulder like hey here's your drink i've never had a passenger be annoyed that i've waken them up to serve them coffee but that is the only time there's no other time that i'm going to wake a passenger up for food especially not cookies and pretzels like what no which is better nothing but cakes gg cupcakes or sprinkles popular vote nothing but cakes now i do like nothing but cakes but i do like gg's cupcakes sprinkles is definitely out there's a vending machine at dfw that has the sprinkles cupcakes and y'all they got me i wasted seven of my dollars for their cupcake and it was absolutely disgusting I'll never make that mistake again. Hopefully y'all will take my advice and y'all won't make the same mistake because that was $7 wasted. I'm curious, which is better, Cava or Chipotle? Popular vote, Chipotle. Now, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say Chipotle too. It depends. If I wanna be healthy, skinny legend, Cava, but if I don't want to play around Chipotle because I need some cheese like I need some cheese and I love Chipotle's dressing if you haven't tried Chipotle's um, honey vinaigrette you have to ask for it because they low-key be hiding it but if you ask for that seals the deal if they don't have it I tell them to just throw my whole bowl away because I'm not ever since I've had it the first time there's no way I can eat Chipotle without it, so I highly recommend. Would you rather have an overnight in Geneva, Switzerland, Santorini, Greece, Cairo, Egypt, or Bali, Indonesia? The popular answer was Santorini, Greece. 
However, your girl is going with Geneva, Switzerland because I love Switzerland. And somehow, some way, I will have a citizenship there and I'll be living there permanently. The universe and I are still working that out, okay? But soon. Which outfit is more important? Club outfit, airport outfit, interview outfit, or church outfit? Popular answer, interview outfit. I'm gonna say it's it's between the airport fit and the interview outfit. The airport fit actually might be the winner just because I don't wanna do too much of the interview. You know, you don't wanna look too good. I don't want my outfit to look better than the person that's interviewing me. So I'm gonna downplay it a little bit. Now the airport, all bets are off. You can look your best, you can do dress it up, look real good, because you never know who you're going to meet, you never know who you're going to sit by, you never know who's going to upgrade you to first class because you're looking your best. So I'm going to go with the airport outfit. Which do you prefer, glossy lips or red lips? Popular answer, glossy lips. I like both, but glossy lips is every day. Red lips, I feel like, is occasional. I'm definitely not a flight attendant who's going to wear red lips every day to work like every day is not giving red lip no would you rather sit ready from 4 a.m to 4 p.m or work five flights in a day popular answer work five flights in a day me i'm gonna sit ready ready reserved from 4 a.m to 4 p.m okay that's me okay y'all these are funny He's a 10, but only willing to fly standby and refuses to buy tickets. What's his rating? And the options are either five or 10. Popular answer was five. Yes. I'm gonna have to agree with y'all. It's definitely gonna be a five because some people will literally try to live in the airport just to get a free flight. And it's like, at this point, just buy the ticket just buy it to get to where you need to go because you're sitting in the airport, you're buying food. If you're sleeping in the airport chairs, your back is gonna be uncomfortable. Like now you're in back pain, going to your location. Like you're just doing too much now. No, it's not worth it. Just buy the ticket, hun, or stay home, stack the money up. But it should never be that deep. She's a 10, but she wears her bonnet on flights. What is her rating? You guys voted five as the popular answer. It was between five and 10. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give her a five because girl, take that bonnet off. Like you're embarrassing me, number one. Number two, what? Like, why do you have the bonnet on? I don't get that. I really don't get that. Like some people say they put it on to keep their hair fresh, but if you already stepped outside, it's not saving it that much. Like it's really not, honestly. Bonnet wear to bonnet wear, like once you step out the house, take it off. You take it off before you step out the house. Bonnet is for in the house activity only, okay? Like, no. Anyways, I also made a whole video about bonnets and let me know if you guys are new, I can link it down below. Just remind me in the comments. And yeah, let's chat about that. How do you feel about bonnets in the airport? Is that you? I hope not. I hope not. You know what? Let me tell y'all a story. So one of my really good friends, I told her about wearing the bonnet. Like, girl, I know you want to do what you want to do, but I'm a flight attendant and I'm trying to tell you, don't wear a bonnet. At the airport like you need to look good like look cute so she took my advice and she literally said that she was on a flight and they bumped her up to first class she was doing standby they bumped her up to first class and they chose her before other people she was like at the bottom of the standby list they chose her before other people why did they choose her because she was looking the part okay didn't have a bonnet on looking good got bumped up 
So let that be a story. Quick little story time. Look your best, get bumped up. Life is good, like why not? Next poll question. What would you consider the best feature of a hotel stay of an overnight? You guys voted breakfast buffet. For me, if they don't have an omelet station, I don't even care. And at this point, I just bring my own food. So I'm gonna go with the gym with the Peloton and Stairmaster. That would be so nice. What is a deal breaker for a hotel overnight? Pristine Posse voted bed bugs, and I agree. If mm -mm. I've never seen a bed bug in real life, I've never been in a bed with a bed bug. I can't even what if, like, I probably pass out. Mm -mm. No. Oof, I'm getting itchy just thinking about it. Anyways, today I found out Starbucks changed their reward system. You need 100 points to get a free bakery item. How do you like the new reward system? Pristine Posse voted, I'm not a fan. Yeah, me neither, because it used to be 50 points and I used to always reach 50 points. And I'm like, 100 takes a little bit more work, number one. Then number two, Starbucks started adding the tip option to tip the servers, which I don't have a problem with that. But we should get tips too. Like we should have that option on board. I think we should, we deserve it. If Starbucks can get it, Flight Attendant should get it too. If you are sleepy and hungry, what are you doing first? Pristine Posse voted eat first. I'm gonna have to disagree with y'all. I'm going to sleep first because while I'm eating, I'm gonna be tired. I don't even wanna chew. And the reason why I ask this is because sometimes I work a long flight, it gets delayed, all these things happen and I'm tired and hungry. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just go to sleep first and then figure out what I'm gonna eat. Because the last thing I wanna do is inhale a good meal because I'm trying to hurry up and go to sleep. And then I don't digest my food properly because I'm so tired and I wanna get in the bed. So sleep first for me. You are a passenger who is bored the plane. The pilot discovers a mechanical issue. The time frame to fix the mechanical issue could range from 20 minutes to a max of 1.5 hours. As a passenger, would you rather stay on the plane or deplane and wait it out? Pristine Posse voted deplane. And yes, I'm with you guys, deplane, because all you have to do is tell me it might be 20 or it might be longer. No, I'm not playing with y'all. Get me off this plane. I want to use the restroom in a stall, not a portable squatty potty. No, okay, no. Have you seen the Barbie movie? Pristine Posse voted no. Me too, I haven't seen it yet. I do want to see it, but I've heard very mixed reviews. I heard that a lot of people say that they cry at the end. And I'm like, from Barbie? Like what's going on? I do want to see it, maybe later. Pristine Posse, what should I do? Pristine Posse voted go mainline, but the real ones voted be a stay at home cat mom. Okay, we're here the ones who voted that because yeah, be a stay at home cat mom. I gotta take care of my pepper. I do feel like it's time for a change and I should look into other things. I'm not quite sure yet and I will keep you guys in the loop, but I did wanna ask you guys for an opinion, see what you guys are thinking. Not sure why y'all didn't vote for the cat mom, but it was the second most liked, so we'll get back to that later though. If you're gonna be late to work, at least, and Pristine Posse voted, come to work with a good attitude. I agree. Come to work with a good, with a good attitude. Then I have come to work dress nice. You do, you need to be dressed nice, like you're late. Don't come wearing dirty clothes, don't come with wrinkles, like you need to be looking pristine. 
And then I have come to work already fed. If we're talking about being a flight attendant and coming to the plane, personally, I'm probably gonna bring the food and just eat it on the plane. So that's not really a priority. But have a good attitude, because the last thing you wanna do is go up to the gate agent and have an attitude, because they're probably already gonna have an attitude. They may or may not. Lean more to the may. So you wanna be like, hey, how are ya? Good morning, ready for work. That will kind of bring their attitude down. You know, you don't wanna come to the gate with fire, because they're already gonna have fire saying, where were you? We were waiting on you, finally, da 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 like, no. The senior mamas you work with are mostly pristine, posse voted golden girls, which is good. I'm happy you guys have more golden girls than Miss Trenchable. Do you touch the outside of the plane for good luck before getting on? Popular answer, no. I agree, no. That's, I don't know why people do that. I don't know where that came from. Touching the outside of the plane is not gonna save you, okay? I'm gonna save you. You know what's gonna give you luck? Giving me a Starbucks gift card, okay? I'll make sure you're safe. I'll ensure your safety then. If you get the crew snacks, Starbucks gift cards, gifts, we're gonna make sure you're taken care of, okay? That's gonna do a lot more than touching the outside of the plane. Way more. Which is home of the nicest passengers? And Pristine Posse has a tie between Denver, Colorado and Charleston, South Carolina. And I'm gonna also agree that that is neck and neck. But Columbia, Missouri would follow right after those people. Which coffee is better? La La Land coffee or Starbucks? I still have not been to La La Land coffee. However, it's always a long line. It's always a long line. Pristine Posse voted Starbucks. I'm going to say Starbucks because I haven't tried La La Land, but I do want to try it. If the plane is not full, do you let a passenger move to the exit row? Pristine Posse voted only if they ask first. Okay, I can agree with that, if they ask first. A big pet peeve is moving on your own. Like, when you move on your own, please believe I will be coming up to you and telling you, please go back to your seat for weight and balance or whatever excuse I make up. Because honey, you don't run this plane, babe. Go back to your seat. You need to ask first, like, where are your manners? You don't just get up and move anywhere you want. Like, no, 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 no. Pick a struggle. The plane is too hot, the plane is too cold. Pristine Posse voted the plane is too cold. I agree. There's a fire on the plane and you must evacuate. As a flight attendant, when are you going to jump off the plane? Pristine Posse voted last. Next question. <laughs> Would you rather be able to speak to all animals or speak all foreign languages? Pristine Posse voted be able to speak all foreign languages. And honestly, I'm gonna have to say speak to all animals, okay? Because I want to be able to ask the birds approximately how many minutes do you think it's gonna start raining, all right? I want to tell the birds, please don't poop on my car. I just washed it. I want to tell the deer to move out of the street. I want to tell a bear, please don't kill me, okay? And I would be able to talk to my own cat, to Pepper, and he'll be able to talk to me. But only me, because honey, if other people could talk to cats, he might tell all my secrets for some treats. So, just me be able to understand him not everybody else okay all right y'all this is gonna be the last one for this video what would be your minimum incentive to pick up a trip pristine posse voted fifty dollars i agree fifty dollars like whenever i see on open time people will post trips and be like please please what like honey do you want me to pick it up or not? Put some money on it. 
Put some money on it, babes. Come on. I'm so confused. How do you want me to pick up your trip and you don't put a Benjamin on it or a Grant on it? Like, you got to put a precedent on that. Come on, something. Like, not... What are we doing? I'm not just picking it up. I'm not just doing charity work, honey. My back hurts. My neck hurts. I have to be a flight attendant too. So you got to give us an incentive. Like, that's not asking for too much. I don't know what some of these flight attendants are thinking. Like, some people actually do pick it up. So some people do. But I'm, I'm glad we're on the same page. No. Got to put some money on it. That was my part one of the polls. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want a part two because I do have more polls and we can like discuss them a little bit further. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.